Hey you guys, welcome back to The Spill Podcast. I'm your host, Vivian Rose. So in this week's episode, I have a very special guest. She is like the it girl ever. Like she is like the queen of nail techs and she's gonna be super cool. I'm gonna be interviewing her, asking her all questions about Red Moon Nails, all questions about like how to do nails, what schooling is neat for, literally everything. And she's going to help you if you wanna be a nail tech, she's gonna tell you all the tea about it. So I'm super excited to have her as my like, interview girl on this episode so i'm super excited for it so i hope you guys enjoy the episode and this is a quick little intro and happy monday obviously on my glamorous eight girls and i will see you guys in the episode hey guys welcome back to the podcast this Phil vivian rose i'm super excited to have my friend here she is literally like the nail queen she makes all these different nails and she's making me some nails which is so cool so she's gonna make some nails and like she makes some really cute ones like they're long they have diamonds on them like they're the cutest things ever and we're gonna be interviewing her today asking about how she does nails her journey on it and what really stood out to her about nails so let's get right into the episode so you can go ahead and introduce yourself Hi, um, I'm Red, founder of Red Moon Nails. I'm a nail tech, um, 16, um, and I'm really, really excited to be getting interviewed by Miss Vivian Rowe and all of her amazingness. And I really appreciate this shout out. It was very kind. So, yeah. Of course, this is going to be so fun because I have some really good questions for you. So, number one, how did you know that you wanted to become and start studying to be a nail tech? Like, what really stood out to you? Um, seeing beautiful nails on people. Um, ha- seeing other people that had acrylic nails done when I was younger and I used to want them. And, um, for lack of better terms i'm very spiteful and growing up i wasn't allowed to get like acrylics but i wanted to still be able to do them so i just was like figure out how to do it on your own so you can do it for yourself you know yeah and And when i was little used to watch like tick not tiktokers but youtubers or um a lot of p pocs women get their nails done and they're usually always beautiful and like when I was on Pinterest, I would see them and create design boards and themes. Um, and that really sparked my interest. And then I started learning about it um, when I was little, when I was like nine or 10. And now at 16, I do it for basically a job. And it's so cool. Like, I can't believe that you like start off like that because I can't get acrylics like when I was younger and I was like how do I do this because like I would go try to order some nails and stuff since I can't um I couldn't go to like the nail shop and actually get them done like when I was like I want to say 12 and so I couldn't do that and so that's such a smart idea like you thought outside the box like making your own nails and I never actually thought of doing that so that's actually a great idea that's a really cool way to start yeah, I definitely think it's a very creative outlet for you to do. Yeah, and it seems like there's so many different, like, opportunities. Like, you can do nails however you want it to, and I just feel like it's so just creative. You can really, like, showcase, like, your art and your side of, like, things on it. I feel like that's a really cool type of industry to go into. But the next question is, what type of work is involved with doing nails? Um, the type of work that's involved, um, I would say a lot of setting up things Mm -hmm. and cleaning. Um, there's a lot of, like, cleaning you have to do and (laughs) hygiene things. Like, if you're filing nails, you have to clean up the nail dust or waiting for polish to dry, which is a bane of my existence. (laughs) Um, sometimes, I'm sorry, it's just when you're using regular polish, like, you have to wait for it to dry, Mm -hmm. and that can be really longing, you know? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That's really funny, because, like, it takes me a long time. I have, like, 
I, I'm patient, but to an extent. And so, like, when I'm waiting for, like, my nails to dry, like, I can't do anything while I'm waiting for them to dry. Like, if I paint them myself. And it gets so annoying because, like, it takes, like like at least 20 minutes for my nails to dry and I can't do anything I can't hold my dogs I can't eat or anything because the polish will get on it so like I'm right there with you like I hate waiting for things to dry but like what what other things like when you do nails is it like tedious to actually like do it and like how do you plan it so I'm very fortunate in the fact that my brain just kind of designs things all the time And the ideas kind of just end up popping out of nowhere. (laughs) So if I get an idea, I'll just sit down and start working on the nails. And sometimes it can be become tedious. If you are like doing the same nail, you keep messing it up or you accidentally hit some things with your wet nails and then you have to redo it or your nails break and then you have to redo them again. So that part's not always the most fun. Yeah. It seems like it for sure. So next is, what is the process of becoming a nail tech? Like, how do you learn how to do it? I learned a lot off of a YouTuber called Nail Cure Education. She's a Canadian YouTuber. And I learned a lot from her. Just a lot of research, I think. Um... I think that's really important Mm -hmm. is if you just, I think like trying to learn and do a lot. Yeah. So like before you start, like research everything about it, like learning how to do it, what you need and just like the main techniques to do it. Yeah. I mean, if you find something you're interested in, try to learn more about it. So for me, some things that I was interested in early on was um, uh, flower inlays or inlays where basically you encapsulate uh, some things into acrylic. And I really wanted to learn how to do that because I saw the nail and thought it was really pretty. So I searched it up and looked on YouTube. And um, I found that it was a lot... There's a lot of people out there that do nails for a living. Um, Someone I used to watch all the time, it was uh, Simply Nail Logical. Mm -hmm. And she had a bunch of videos and stuff. So a lot of it's just like trying to learn and finding things you're interested in. And if you're not super um, invested in it, you don't want to learn as much. So finding things that you're interested in in the industry makes it a lot easier. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense because when I was starting like my lip gloss business and stuff, it took a lot of research, like to see like what ingredients are used to make it, like exactly how to do it. Because it's like it takes a lot of time to do it. So I completely get that. So next question is, do you know what type of like, like, you know how it's some different um things you do you have to go to school for so do you know what the schooling is for nail tech and how to get your certification yeah so it's a four to six month program to get a um certification license which is basically them being like you completed all the things you have to pass the state required test um you do in-person learning you can also do it online but you have to do some forms of in-person learning, like um, being able to, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Um, like demonstration and like experimenting, I guess. Like um, a lot of times in uh, cosmetology school, you do, you have like nail techs working on each other and learning how to do things properly. Mm-hmm. And um, like the hygiene side of it, like making sure you wear a mask when you're filing nails, um, making sure you have acetone and um, a pad put down and um, polishes ready, nail polish remover, uh, stones and studs, uh, tapes, um, whatever the case may be for whatever design your client wants. That's kind of like the main thing. Yeah, so, like, what 
main supplies do you need when you start doing nails? So, if you're doing them on you, you would need polish. Um, the starter out, like the first things I did, I started out on fake nails, like Mulan's. Mm -hmm. I would glue them on and then design them on me. Or I use um, these little stud things that like hold the nails. And you can use them to actually hold the nails. Mm -hmm. and, like, and then you can glue them on. So designing them like that is always a good way to do it. And then as you get more advanced and you work on it long enough, then moving to things like gel, um, acrylics, poly gel, stuff like that. But once you build up enough practice of doing it, so I didn't start working with gel polishes until about a couple months ago, but I've been doing nails with regular polishes for like a couple years now. And the most important thing is to try to learn everything you can and learn about what you can do with how things are done in the industry and not give up and view failure as much as you can as a learning process and trying to learn from if something goes right or goes wrong, trying to learn from it and trying to grow from it and trying to become a better nail tech or a better person or whatever industry you're in, trying to become better at whatever you're doing. Yeah, like that that is great. So I actually thought that when you do nails there was like this mock hand that you like can like put the nails on then you do it and I didn't know that there was like other ways to do it. So that's actually really, really cool. But um where do you get your inspiration for your new designs and stuff? Um a lot of it comes from just my surroundings. Mm -hmm. Um with you, you were I asked for a color and a theme, you pick pink and rhinestone. And uh, the first thing that went through my head was geometric shapes, keeping it classy, keeping it elegant, so pretty and girly, and then asking if you liked any characters, and you said Barbie, which was the first thing I thought of when you said you were Frost and Barbie was the two things that you liked. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm like, trying to think of like what felt Barbie-ish to me, and that the design that you saw was the first design I thought of. And then I thought of a different design to add on to it and work with it and stuff like that. So a lot of it just comes from um, inspiration from what's around me, what I'm watching to... Um, I've designed nails off of watching a movie before and doing one of the characters from it. Just whatever is around me, whatever strikes the inspiration, I guess. Yeah, I had no idea that, like, when I told you what I wanted, it was that easy for you to put it together. Because I thought I wasn't being specific enough. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, oh, yeah, see, when you give me that inspiration like that, it gives me more creative freedom to do the first things that pop in my head. And so when that worked, it was kind of just like, yeah you know <laughs> yeah um do you ever think that you would like to be like a celebrity nail artist or just like be more like on your own um so I thought about it and I kind of wanted to be Cardi B's nail style you know <laughs> uh, just because she works with so many studs and and I also just love Cardi B in general and I think she's a boot um but I really like doing her nails for people I care about. So, like, being able to be a celebrity client list, you can kind of pick who your clients are. Mm -hmm. So that would be interesting to me. But honestly, if you ask me nicely, I will probably see you with someone. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really cool to do Cardi B's nails because, like, her nails, it only looks like it'll take a long time to do because they <coughs> need so much detail. So it do seem like it mm -hmm. take a long time. So very detail oriented and very stoned. There's yeah. a lot of blame. <laughs> um, if you were not a nail tech, what industry do you think you'd be in? If I wasn't a nail tech, um, I would probably be still in the same industry of cosmetology, either being a hairstylist or um, probably a hairstylist. 
but if like not in that, I would be an architect. Oh really? I didn't. Re- I didn't think that you would be an architect. That's actually really cool. I didn't think that at all. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact: I actually come from a line of architectures. Like my uh, my bio family uh, owns their own uh, building company and makes houses. So I was taught how to do it from when I was younger. That's really cool. Okay, I I honestly thought that you were going to say makeup artist, because I know that you like a lot of makeup stuff. I do, but makeup is such, like, a passion thing for me that, like, if someone's mean, because let's be honest, not everyone's nice, mm-hmm. <laughs> and if you're trying to be, like, kiki with someone, <laughs> and you're like doing their makeup and they're not nice to you you're gonna make the experience of doing something you love less enjoyable so for me I love doing makeup and I love doing makeup on people that I care about and I'm friends with that I know but having to do it on other people where they can be um difficult not such pleasing not such pleasant (laughs) Yeah, so what is one thing that you would tell your younger self when you were first starting out with nails? Um, just keep trying. Don't give up. That is a big thing. Just not give up. Keep trying. Yeah, I can can actually really see that because... When it seems like when you do nails, like I've never done them, but I've seen other people do them. And it seems like when you do it, like you can mess up, and like I just get so upset, like I'd be throwing nails like places because I get so mad. And so I can see <laughs> how like trying and trying again can really help you and not like giving up. I can totally see that. And like it seems like a very tedious thing to do. Like you have really small gems, and you're trying to place them like in the perfect places. Especially if you were Cardi B's nail artist, that would be very difficult <laughs> and like probably pretty upsetting because you have to put so many gemstones and stuff in there. That actually it would be cool, but probably it takes a lot of time. So you need a lot of free time to do it. Yeah, I mean, doing a set of nails can. I've done a set of nails that took two and a half hours three hours and I've done a set of nails that took me about 15 minutes so it's very depending on the design what takes the most amount of time yeah so do you think that you'd ever start your own like press on nail company like I know that you have like a press on nail stuff but do you think you'd ever like want it to be distributed like to different stores and stuff like to have like um your nails sold at like at different like places like Ulta, Sephora, different places like that? I think that would be so cool and so different. Like to be like kind of famous for that. Mm-hmm. And I really prefer and only really try really hard to produce like the best work. So if my work isn't being the best it can, I really don't like doing it. Not doing it but like giving it to people so like for me like making sure the quality of my work was the most important yeah so like making sure that you put your best work out yeah yeah making sure my best work comes to play yeah that makes a lot of sense that is really cool and I had so much fun doing this interview because I learned a lot of stuff that I honestly didn't know about nails. Like, I didn't know that you could do a set of nails in 15 minutes. Like, I thought it took, like, days and days on end to do, like, one set. So, that was really cool to learn about that. And, like, it was really cool. And I hope that all my listeners and stuff, you guys can get inspiration to start your own nails and stuff. And, like, start to do your own. And I think that would be super, super cool. So, thank you guys so much for listening. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, one thing. Um, it did not take me 15 minutes always. It used to take me a really long time. But if you build, like, practice, like, I don't want people to try to go into it thinking that it'll be 15 minutes. It's fine, like, no matter what. Um, it did not take me 15 minutes always. <laughs> it was a process. So making sure you really remember that, like, things take time and patience. And it's not always fun. But yeah, sorry. No, 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 it's fine. That's actually really great because um, (laughs) I can see like how when you're first starting out and like it's your very first time, it's not going to take 15 minutes. I'm sure that comes with like practice and practice and practice. And like the time 
like the point that you are at now I can see it taking like probably like 10 minutes because you're so experienced with it and if I started off it would take me like a week to finish a set because I told you like it's hard for me to con continue something that like it's so tedious but yeah thank you guys so much for listening to the episode I had so much fun being here with her and it was super super fun and I will be sure to see you guys in next week's episode bye